Welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Torqued. Before I go back to doing any particular quest, I want to set up some automation. So right now I'm stuck in this little hole down here. It's super cramped and, well, it sucks. So I'm actually going to move everything to the overworld. And I just want to let you know that for the rest of the series I'm not going to be stuck in a hole and I'm also not going to permanently set up base here. Uh, I'm going to move everything up here and get some pretty good automation going and get pretty well situated here and then once I'm pretty good here and I'm feeling pretty confident about my supplies and my tools and I've got decent you know decent armor decent tools stuff like that then I'm gonna move my base to probably a permanent place a place that will that'll actually put some love into and will actually look good so for now I'm going pure utilit utilitarian and then I'll make a proper base but before that let's just move out of this hole so I'm going to make some automation. I'm going to use extra utility nodes and pipes to move some stuff around, like especially to feed the generator and the macerator. I don't want to individually have to put every single thing I want to macerate inside of this. I'd rather just set up a chest full of all the stuff I want to process and just have it automatically go inside of it. So it's, I guess, not fully automated. I still have to kind of put some stuff in the chest and whatnot, but it'll be at least semi-automated. Also, Jesus Christ, I was about to break that chest. Let's not do that yet. There's normally items you can use to move chests without losing the contents. Because if I just broke this right now, everything would just spew out of the chest. Um, but I don't know what it's called in this version of Minecraft, or if it's even in here. I remember using the old um, dolly, but that's back in like 1.7. There's like... A, I've seen some other kind of version of it that's like a... It's like a hand tool that grabs the chest, but I don't know what it's called. Oh, I don't even need that thing. Yeah, all right, I've got everything I need. I'll leave that one there. Put down another crafting table here. Let's actually do something different with this crafting table. So one of the things you can do with the crafting table with uh, Tinker's Construct is if you just craft the table itself, it'll just turn into a crafting station from Tinker's Construct. Which is honestly basically the same thing as a crafting table, but the big difference is that items you put in here actually stay in here. So normally if you put something into a crafting table, and then you exit out, it just pops out of your inventory. The crafting table doesn't really store anything, but with a crafting station, it does. It not only stays there, but it also visually shows you the item, which is pretty freaking cool. Especially if you're trying to work on some big recipes, you can set up a bunch of crafting stations and, you know, if you've only got half the components, you can lay those all out. And then just have a bunch of crafting tables of like, here's a half-finished machine part, here's another half-finished machine part, and it becomes a lot easier to try to plan things out. You don't have to keep everything in your inventory. You can kind of assemble it piece by piece. At least that's what I've seen other people do. I've never done it myself, but let's try doing it. Right, what the hell am I doing? Ah, yes, extra utility stuff. So, if you want to transfer items, you, there's two types of transfer nodes and extra utilities. Fluids and items. Not going to worry about fluids for now. Let's do items. So the transfer nodes go directly on the thing you want to draw items out of. So you put this directly on a chest if you want to pull stuff out of the chest. And then you connect it to something you want to take the items using a transfer pipe. So this sucks items out, transfer pipe takes items there. So you need a pretty small amount of transfer nodes and a lot of trans transfer pipe. And this is a very generous recipe. In most mod packs, a recipe like this would make maybe eight pipes, but for some reason it makes 64 here, which is pretty fantastic. So I need stone slab. All right, got two stacks of transfer pipes. Now I need, well, let's make, I'm probably gonna need quite a few of these, not that many, but I'll make three chests. There we go. It's got 12 transfer nodes and almost two stacks of transfer pipes. Fantastic. So I'm going to put these down. I'm going to need actually a bunch of chests. Yeah, I'll just make them all. So, 
let's put the generator here. Let's put the macerator right next to it. And instead of having individually feed coal into it, let's make it so that a chest will feed into the generator. Um, I'll put it directly behind it. So I'm going to put a node on this. And then there we go. So the node goes on the chest, and then the pipe goes here, automatically connects to the generator. Now let's see if it pulls things out correctly. Yeah, there we go. So it's transferring it inside. And this thing's going to keep going until it reaches the max capacity. Since the macerator isn't actually using any power. So I'm going to use this like tiny coal. There's a couple forms of it. There's the coal pellets, which is from the kind of strange coal. And then the uh, kind of more vanilla version that comes from normal coal is tiny coal. But they're both essentially the same thing. They have the same burn time. And uh, basically that's more efficient for my purposes here. Because the thing about burning something is that if you burn something that burns for a long time, like let's say... Oh, well, I don't have any full coal anymore. But if I put something in here that burned for a really long time, like a normal piece of coal will burn for the duration of eight items, and then I put just like one piece of cobblestone in here, it'll burn for eight items worth of burning, but it'll only make the one cobblestone, and then the rest of it will just go to waste. It doesn't magically stop burning. It will keep burning. So basically, the smaller you can make the coal, the more efficient it is, because then there's not as much, or any, possibly, overburn. So that's why I want to make it really tiny. What is that back there? Ours Magica Flicker. Goodbye. Oh, it teleports. Some magical little creature. I've never played with Ars Magica before. I know it's uh, it allows you to make your own spells. It's got a pretty cool spell system. Right, so this thing feeds in, so this thing's gonna have as much power as it needs. So now let's have a chest that feeds ores that need to be processed in... Oh, right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> the chests automatically join up with one another. Forgot about that. Um... I'm just going to put that, like, up here. I don't want to offset it. Now, I do run into that issue. It's going to try to throw the coal in there. Um, I might be able to use a hammer. There's, You can disconnect this. I'm just not sure what tool you need to do it. I need some sort of a wrench. There's like a million wrenches added by mods. Which one will actually work? I have no idea. I don't think Extra Utilities actually has its own wrench. The Yetta wrench would almost certainly work. Oh, that takes pulsating iron. That's not happening. Laser wrench? Nah. Smart wrench. Iron and blue. Well, I can do that. I can use Lapis Lazuli as blue dye. I've never made that tool before. I usually use the Yetta wrench. Do I have the iron on me? No. Put it here. Wow, I'm really low on iron. Oh, right, there's no crafting table down here anymore. Crap. Alright. Sneak right click to pick up machines, right click to rotate machines. Well, I don't want to do either. Right click to change mode. Focus wrench. Focus wrench. Let's see if this does what I want it to do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does work. Hmm, interesting. It looks like you can set each side to, like, this side, no, this side, no, and once they're both no, then they disconnect. The old version of Extra Utilities, Extra Utilities 1 that I played with a lot in Minecraft 1.7, didn't actually allow you to disconnect pipes. That's a new feature in the newer version of Extra Utilities. That always would drive me nuts, so this is much better. 
Okay, so now we should be able to... Oh, wait. I should be able to load this up with all the things I macerate, but I also want to pull things out, but we'll deal with that later. So let's grab everything that I could possibly want to macerate. All the gold. Nickel. I guess basically everything, I think. I just don't want something to get stuck in there that I can't do. Like, none of this iron can be processed because it's all the special kind. But all of that, lead ore, silver, copper, fintium, maybe? Uranium? Sure. Oh, I'm full. I think this mass sweater is going to be a bit slow, so I really do want to just leave this running while I do other stuff. Just out of curiosity, let's see if that works. Nope. <laughs> okay, it's, it's stuck in here. Do not put Vintium in there. Osmium? Yeah, that works. I'm sure lead will work, silver definitely, copper definitely. Nickel, gold, sure. The nether ones I'm not 100% sure about. Let's see. No, it looks like you have to smelt them, and then you can put them in there. So let's take this out. Yeah, so thing's going to fill up pretty fast. Um, a lot of blocks allow you to configure what sides you want to output to. This one doesn't, so... Let's just see if I can pull from the side. If not, then chances are you have to pull from the bottom. Oh, yeah, you can just pull from the side. Alright, it's already sucking it out. Cool. Let's put that on front. And let's plop a chest down here. Okay, so now it's going to deposit everything that it macerates in this chest here. Should see another one in a second. Two seconds, three seconds, there we go. Alright, so we have our first piece of, like, real automation. Pretty cool, huh? This thing's gonna keep burning coal as it needs it. Hopefully it's not wasting too much. It's kinda hard to tell. Okay, so now we're pulling out to here. Now I want furnaces. I'm not going to automate the furnaces. I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to manually put it in once I've got a good stock of stuff. So I'll just set up like a row of furnaces here. That'll be fine. I really need more coal. I used up all my coal on this thing. Okay, I've got a plan and I've got to take 20 steps back to be able to accomplish it. So my plan is to move all the chests from down there to up here. I could just do that by just laboriously moving every single item inside of the chest up here, but let's do it a smarter way. I want to make storage, backpacks and stuff like that. To make stuff like that, I kind of need leather. To make leather, I need a cow, or cows. But instead of just going and killing some cows and coming back and then running out of leather later, I think what I should do is start a little bit of a cow farm. To start a cow farm, I'm going to want to be able to actually capture the cows. You can lure them back to your base using wheat, but that's really annoying and slow, especially if they're far away, so instead I'm going to make golden lassos. To make that, I need string and gold nuggets. So I made some string by... Why did this thing stop? Oh, it can't process the nickel. Okay. Um, I made string by putting some wool in the macerator. I'm going to get gold nuggets just by taking a ingot and turning into that. And I think that's all we need. Yeah. It's also going to take eight levels, I think. Yes. Didn't really show it up here, but it took it from down here. And I'm going to make two, because you can only hold one creature with these at a time. And I don't want to have to go back to the cows, because you need two to be able to breed them. Step number two is actually finding the cows, which I've done. I remember I came over here to get some cows before, and I left a couple alive just for this sort of thing. It's always a good idea to leave a couple creatures alive so you, you can go back and get them and breed them. Come with me. Boop. So Golden Lasso just allows you to pick them up and put them down. 
So, two cows. That's step number two. Step number three is building a pen. Using a bunch of planks and a bunch of sticks, let's make some fence. Make a full stack of this. Uh, actually, maybe not. That would take up all my planks. I want to save a couple because I want to make a gate. There we go. Alright, let's build them a little place to live. Oops. Why does that make no noise? Noise. Noise. No noise. Strange. Put the gate here. Oh, cool! That must be a mod. Because, uh... Normally in Minecraft, the gates just instantly toggle between open and closed. They don't, there's no, like, movement animation between the states. cows, plus f some wheat. I love wheat. Feed, feed. Baby! Yay, we got a baby cow! Uh, can we keep feeding you to make you grow up? Does it work like that? I don't think it works like that, because I've now fed you like... I just fed you like 40 wheat. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, and there is a cooldown, so I can't just feed them and make more babies instantly. So I'm not going to slaughter them just yet. God, I feel so bad about this. I'm a vegetarian. Is this really the only way to get leather? Rabbit hide, imp leather. Ah, oh, mob drops, that's killing them of course. Well, using the Atomic Reconstructor and 8,000 <laughs> RF from Rotten Flesh, so I could get it from Zombies. Sawmill, that's not gonna work. Rotten Flesh there as well. Looks like Rotten Flesh is my only other way to do it. Could I make the Atomic Reconstructor? Titanium? Stone Burnt? Em oh god. Thermionic Fabricator? No. <sighs> Alchemy Catalyst? Could I make that? Blank Rune? Rose Gold Ingot? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I could do these things some at some point in the future. Oh, I think they're ready. Oh, that one was. Oh, that was the baby! The baby grew up! <laughs> Yeah, there's gonna be some inbreeding. Sorry. Yeah, so I'll be able to get leather a different way in the future, but early game, there's just, like, no way, unfortunately. Well, while I'm waiting for them to multiply, let's actually make some new type of storage. I'm still gonna use chests for a while, I think, but let's make some drawers. It's a pretty cool mod. It basically allows you to do mass storage, in, in the sense of not that you can store a lot of different types of items, but that it allows you to store many of small amounts of items. Yeah, so one basic drawer allows you to hold 16 stacks in a single block. And that can be upgraded to hold much, much more. So let's make a whole bunch of these. Just need a bunch of chests and a bunch of planks. I don't actually have a huge amount of anything in particular, so I'm just gonna make half drawers. Where are you? Here we go. Wrong type of wood. There you are? Oh, it's using the other type of... Ah. Bleh. It's terrible. Let me just manually do this. Balance grid. Okay, now we got 10 basic drawers that are 1 by 2 
So each one can store eight stacks of two different types of items. can't breed again yet. Where to put my storage? Doesn't really matter in particular. Oh, I'll put it right here. <laughs> I just put a freaking drawer inside of a drawer. No! Give me them all back. Okay, so if we want to store bulk items that we don't want taking up too much room in a chest, for example, such as cobblestone, Bloop. Now it's rolling the cobblestone. And what I can do is I can actually go get all of my cobblestone. You can see I have quite a bit of it. Dare I press one of these buttons to see if it'll give me the rest of the cobblestone? Restock? Yes! It worked! Aha! It did what I thought it would do. Boing, 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 boing. So you can see I have all of this all over my inventory. And if you double right click on this, right, right click is what puts it inside basically. If you double right click, it empties your entire inventory of that item type, puts it all into here. Double right click, and boom. Oh, I just said boom. No. I swear I don't normally say boom. I hate that. But yeah, they just put all the cobblestone in there, so now there's. 398 cobblestone, as it says. Many, many stacks. Good way to clear up space and in inventories when you just have bulk items. I don't think there's many things I could really put in here, though. I don't have multiple stacks of many things. Are you ready for another feeding yet? Yeah, there we go. Another baby. Once I get, like... At some point, I'll get to critical mass, where there's so many of them that I can just feed them all, and I just have unlimited cows, but... Just gotta build up the population a little bit first. Oh, I think the other one grew up so fast because I fed it. This doesn't make them instantly grow, but it probably speeds them along or something. I don't know how it works. I'll just give each one five or something. I've got tons of wheat. Well, while I'm waiting for the cows to all grow up and breed and stuff, I think what I want to do is start to focus and start to work towards getting a blast furnace going. So a blast furnace is going to allow me to turn iron into steel. Which is going to be very helpful for all sorts of things, but one thing in particular is I believe it's going to allow me to make the tool forge, which means I can finally make some freaking tools. Some good tools. So that'll be nice. And to make blast brick, it's kind of a weird recipe. Definitely very different from vanilla. Basically... Essentially, I just need a lot of stone to make tiny plates. And a bunch of iron. A bunt. Actually, a shit ton of iron. <laughs> like, a lot of iron. Four plates to make one blast brick, and I need... What is it, 28, I think? No, 20, 27. I need 27 blast bricks. So, 27 times 4. That's a lot of iron. And also a bunch of camonite, too. Which requires seared blocks and... Yeah, I need a bunch of stuff. And what's the best way to get iron? Nether iron. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh god, that didn't go well. I just managed to survive this blaze. It almost killed me. It took me down to like half a heart. At the portal. On the other side of the portal. I ran away, healed up, came back to it, and it was gone. Now I just went through the portal, and it turns out it went to the other side, and you're burning down my little shrub forest. Oh crap. I think hitting it puts me on fire. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get to the water! Oh, 
Oh shit, I'm out of juice. Okay, I wonder if it'll go away. Can I make carrot juice? I never thought about that. It's a thing. Yeah, you can. Uh, but just like the other juice, it also doesn't actually give you the juice effect, but that's, that's fine. For now, I'm not worried about that. I have six arrows. Can I make a bow? Treated sticks and three string. Yes, I can. Ah, no crafting table. All right, let's try this. If it disappeared, I'm going to be so pissed. You better not have despawned. Ah, it despawned, didn't it? I don't see it on the map either. It despawned. I made this bow for nothing. Come to me. Oh, there's two more baby cows. We're approaching critical mass. Oh, by the way, on my time, I forgot to mention, my time in the uh, nether, I got a little bit of gold, a little bit of lead, a little bit of nickel, and absolutely no iron whatsoever. And I went through like one and a half iron picks. Which means, do I even have any iron left, like, at all? I didn't process any in the macerator. I have five. Can I make a copper pick? I can. Is it any good? Durability 181 compared to iron. Which is 256. Okay, so it's a little bit worse than the iron, but man, I have a lot of copper. Let's make that. Oh, I've already got the sticks. What am I doing? Let's hope the mining speed's okay. I'm trying to save the very, very tiny bit of durability left on my diamond pickaxe. Can only mine 23 more blocks. Saving it for any block that absolutely needs the diamond pickaxe to mine it. Ah, oh, alright. Actually, hmm. Is there copper armor? No. I'm going to head back to the nether. Alright, I'm going to be a little bit dangerous here. I'm going to build a bridge out here. Hope nothing snipes me. Oh yeah, there's a zoom key by the way. I don't think I've ever used it before. What is that? Huh. Now let's put some torches here. So I know that's the exit. Alright, we're looking for iron. I ah, can't pass up some osmium. I will pass up the nether quartz, though. I've got tons of that. Oh, the zombie Pikmin, by the way. You don't have to worry about them, for the most part. 
They're totally friendly unless you attack them. If you attack one, then they all aggro on you and they will mob you and they are very powerful. If you accidentally attack one, you're pretty much screwed and you gotta run out. Oh, that's an imp. I don't know how they work, but they're also not aggro by default. Oh, I got the special nether trees. Don't know if I'm going to need this for something, but I'll grab it. Ooh. <laughs> Is that the saplings? They have no texture. Where'd it go? I don't see it. What was that? Oh, what's that? Yeah, it is a sapling. No texture. Okay. Get some of this ghost wood estates. I'd really like some iron. I can't pass up the gold. Again, each one of these equals four of itself. You smelt it, you get two normal ore. Put that in the macerator, you get two each. So two knives, two, four. Is that iron ore just like really rare? Redstone. Eh, I'm not gonna bother with it. I've got tons of redstone. It could be that it might not be super rare, but just really hard to see. A lot of the ores in the nether are very subtle. Like, look at this. I mean, you can barely tell the difference. This is tin and this is netherrack. You can barely see it. Maybe I've just been passing it over? Hello. Breaks into tiny blobs. Oh, turns into lava apparently. Oh, look at the mess you made. Uranium, don't care. Nickel, don't care. Osmium. Where's my iron? I just love bunny hopping in Minecraft. Platinum. Platinum? I've never seen that before. What do you do with that? Melt into platinum, of course, but what do you do with that? Platinum ingots, mm hmm. What do you do with that? It's needed to make Endurium base, that's pretty far off. Hardened platinum glass. It might be very, very good for tools, too. I don't know. Is there a whole line? Yeah, there's a whole line of platinum tool parts. I don't know how good they are, though. <gasps> mining level cobalt! All these things, all the cobalt I've seen here that requires mining level cobalt, I could actually mine it if I made a platinum pickaxe. Okay. Uh-oh. Blazes are spawning behind me. It is time to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I didn't find a single piece of iron. Maybe, maybe iron in the nether only shows up closer to the bottom? I don't know. Literally not a single piece.
Please don't go flying off the edge. Good. Gotta toss something. Another wreck. Or, no, fence. Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna try just sticking down. Well, I used two um, copper pickaxes sticking to the bottom of the nether and didn't find a single piece of iron. I got some neat stuff, but I really needed the iron. And then I come back and I'm being assaulted by some zombie with shades. And I don't even get the shades. We're getting a pretty good amount of cows. I'm still not ready to slaughter them, though. Let's feed the babies a bunch. Hope it does something. Well, I'm a bit stumped about this whole iron thing. Like, I have all these irons that are from rock hounding, but according to the, like, flowchart of what you're supposed to do, I don't know where I'm supposed to do rock hounding, but I'm pretty sure it's not now. Oh my god, I missed something huge. Pretty much this entire time, I actually could have been processing this iron ore. I forgot about the bloomery. I don't believe that the bloomery is actually mentioned in any quest or in the flowchart, as far as I've seen, but... I, I thought rock hounding was this whole, like, chemical thing, and it is, but there's actually two different rock houndings. There's ATM rock hounding, and then there's what the bloomery is from, which is rock hounding or tears. I have no idea how they're related. But this is a whole different thing that I did not realize existed. I remember seeing this at, in somebody's video, but I didn't realize I was in this mod pack and that I needed to use it. I finally realized it when I was like, okay, let's look at the uses for this, the sort of thing that needs to be melted. I thought it went into the embers thing. But, it goes into the bloomery. I think I mixed up my mod packs. I think I'm thinking of the All the Mods Expert Pack, which is, I think, what required you to use Ember to melt iron or something. I'm not sure. Either way, this uh, really simplifies things a lot. So let's make a blooming bloomery, huh? Just a furnace and some stone bricks and stone stairs. Easy enough. Oh. And you should put stone like this in a 4x4 four four pattern, or 2x2 two two pattern rather, it turns into stone bricks. And a furnace. Right on the cobblestones up here. Oh, it's dark. I want to end this episode with me actually being able to melt this freaking stuff. I could have had iron all this time! Oh, the first requires a couple more things to... Eh, I'm lazy. Give me this furnace. By the end of this series, I'll have one furnace left. <laughs> I'm just kidding. At the end of this series, I won't be using furnaces. Stone brick... Oh, I mean stone stairs, not stone brick stairs. Whoops. Uh, how many stairs do I need? Just that many. Okay. I don't know how to use this thing. Hopefully it just takes coal or something. Oh yeah, I think it just takes coal. So we should be able to put all of this friggin' stuff in here. Awesome. Now we need a fuel source. I have almost none, but uh, let's just get a couple pieces of coal here. Look at that! Oh my god. So how does this work? Looks like you need to put a tool here to like 
transform it. What does drain fluid do? Something to drain it into, I guess. So you probably need a tool here to turn it into an ingot. Um, what kind of a tool is that? What was the mod called exactly? Or tears. Hmm. That hammer. Let's try to match the picture. This one? Yeah, this one. Sticks and... <laughs> sticks and stones. I actually don't have that. I have sticks and stone. God, look at how much I've gotten already, just from two pieces of coal. I'm not sure how many millibuckets it takes for a single ingot, but... Um, Cook up a little more stone. Alright, that should be enough. And then it's just gonna automatically process it. Probably eat up some durability, maybe? Question mark? Let's see how much it takes. So it took, took 500 millibuckets to make one ingot. So we have over 8 ingots right here. I think the input and the output happen at the same time. Are they synced up? Looks like they take the same amount of time, I think. Wait a minute, why is this still processing? Oh, it's still got a little bit left. Loop. This thing's amazing! It's giving me like 8 or 10 ingots or something just from a couple pieces of coal. I could have been doing this the whole time. Wow. Wow. Okay, well. That solved a lot of my problems. What a beautiful sight. The puffs of productivity. Let's go feed my cows one more time and end the episode. You and you. You and you. Nice. Nice. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and next episode I'm going to actually process my friggin' iron that I could have processed this entire time. Set up some sort of automation for that, I think. And I'm going to have enough cows to be able to get a bunch of leather, and then I can make some bags to hold things, and then I'm going to move all my chests from down there and completely move out of that hole to the overworld.